Today was my second arm workout of the week. Today was my lighter, higher rep uh, arm workout. I did some different exercises than I usually do. Train them heavy one day, train them light one day, just to, just to stimulate them in different ways to make them freaky as possible. If I feel it, I'll go heavy. And then if I have another day where I just want to get a good squeeze and, and do slow reps and just take it, take it easy, I'll do, I'll do like more of a, a lighter day, more of a pump day than a heavy day. And we started with easy curl uh, bar, and uh, you know I think we did like 12, 15 reps, not heavy weight. Uh, just concentrating on the squeeze and stuff. Then we did preacher one arm dumbbell on an incline bench. Then we jumped into rope hammers, cables, uh, that works, you know, not just your bicep, but forearm, brachialis, and everything to work the whole arm. Then we worked into forearms. I like to uh, stick them in my lighter day. So we did behind the, behind the back wrist curls, which is like a different exercise. Not a lot of people do them, but I said I'll try them something different today. And one exercise I've never done before was dumbbell wrist curls, because I've seen a lot of people do them, so I'll give it a try. It's actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I only used like a 25 pound dumbbell, and I'm used to doing pretty heavy, pretty heavy wrist curls, and it's it a lot harder with a dumbbell. Then we did some uh, reverse cable curls, one of my favorite exercises for, uh, for forearms.
And then we did one of the old school exercises. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure everybody's tried it. Uh, no, you want to, what would you call that? The, the weight on the rope and you... Gary, what do you call the, what do you call the wrist roller? What do you call that? The wrist roller? Not an easy exercise. Probably the best pump I got at all the exercises I did today for forms was that exercise. And uh, I don't think you see it in a lot of gyms, but uh, just, a, just a bar with a rope and a weight on the end of it, and you're just, you're just curling the weight up. People that tell me they don't have they don't have forearms, and I said, "Do you train them?" They go, "No, I just do arms." I'm like, "Well, there you go. You need to train them." Um, I, one thing I could tell you that I did personally for me, I, don't, I, I can't say it was going to work for everybody, but that I did, I stopped using straps on a lot of things. Um, I mean, there's times I do, unless I really needed it, unless it was like some crazy heavy deadlifts or something, I really needed to use them. Uh, I think I see people doing like strapping up, doing dumbbells, nonsense that you don't even need to use straps for, or something that's really light. I think you're just you're just you know you're not you're not using your grip at all, like doing chin ups with straps. I don't understand that. I mean, some people uh, think they're you know all money known for forearms or they're only known for the calves or whatever, but you know what? That's that's pretty. That's a good thing because. If you're known for one body part and you got people all, there's people in all the world that train, train, train like crazy and want to have the best body parts and everything, you're one of the people of all these people that have one of the craziest. I mean, it's awesome. You'll be remembered for, remembered for a long time because you have something special about you, you know? You just don't blend in. You're, so, you're a freak. You're something different. You know, you should embrace it and, and go with it. <laughs>